I did support that the Magdalene Laundries be involved because of evidence uncovered by organisations, especially Justice for Magdalene's, that um, evidence from oral testimony that babies were born and babies were nursed at the Magdalene Laundry in Sean McDermott Street. They also uncovered Depar Department of Health archives biannual reports which had information on 26 children in the Toome Baby Home 1953-58 to 58, for whose whereabouts of parents it's recorded as mother in Magdalene Home and or mother in the Galway Magdalene Home and also children were quote maintained at Toome uh, by both Galway and Mayo County Councils. And we do know that it was state policy in 1933 that unmarried mothers who had given birth a second time would be transferred to a Magdalene laundry. So there were connections between the Magdalene laundries, the mother and baby homes, auxiliary homes and the county homes and hostels. So there have been calls for all these to be included. However, two of the organisations most directly involved, Justice for Magdalene's and Adoption Rights Alliance, have taken a slightly different approach, which I think is sensible. And what they're advocating, they're calling on the Commission is to focus on the issue of children born out of marriage in Ireland since 1922, rather than focusing on the institutions per se. And they have identified various fields of inquiry. Infant mortality rates, because there are concerns that there were higher rates of infant mortality in the homes than in society generally. Issues of vaccines and medical experimentation, and also included in that would be the, the denial of adequate uh, medical care in these places. The forced place of unmarried girls and women who had given birth or who were seen to be at risk of giving birth. And then there were the conditions for women and children and the use of punishment. And we do know that there are a lot of criticisms about the McAleese report on that aspect. 